and we do have a quorum. Um, no, we do. So we have six members. It's 11 members we have. We have 11 members. Right, and we have six people here tonight. Yeah. Four. Who's? I'm a member too. Oh, you're a member? Yes. Okay. Maybe She's it's, a member. Maybe I'm ex officio. I don't know. I've been voting. Ex officio? Ex officio. <laughs> Okay, minutes from our last meeting on September 7th of this year. We are going to table that to our They're next... They're sitting on the printer back at the office. Yeah, and we'll table that to our next meeting. Um, I hope everyone has received um, the Swift Park Survey and Design Concept RFP, which I thought was done really well. Mm -hmm. um, I did have a couple of questions, and then Ed and everyone else, part of this group, if you have some questions, please sound forward. Um, I The first thing I saw, especially in your cover letter, um, where it says, hi, everyone, on our phase one, we're actually uh, beginning of January. Why did your dot... Oh, you're in my email. Yes. yes. The email. Okay. Yeah, Go but ahead. I got I'm the sorry. rest. Yes, on the first page. Okay. Yeah. So beginning of January, obviously the first two weeks of January to me are useless. People are still recovering from the holidays, so we're probably working towards the end of January. Mm, I I think we can. Do you think we can do that? But yeah. I I wouldn't. Um, let's see. I have that in the. I'd like to, if it's possible, and if not, maybe at the next meeting, pending everyone's thoughts, I'd like to be able to, to define this um, even more so, only because I can't believe we're at the middle of October already, and before you know it, we've got the holidays, and people are going to be thinking about other things, and again, before you know it, here it is January, and then we're going to be okay. worrying about um, getting phase one off the ground so we can push right to pay phase two to stay on schedule. Do we have time for uh, an interim meeting after we see some of the proposals, assuming that there are proposals? I sure hope so. Well then, that's, yeah. that's exactly what you need. Get some proposals in, that would help us refine our... Uh, but we can't do purpose. that yet. No, right, you're absolutely right, but let's get the proposals and then refine. Refine our ask based yes. on that. CPA. Yeah. And right. so when right. Is, that's right. Yeah. So I guess we're just gonna wait till But that CPC you know, we're not committee gonna get that either. until uh, why can't I find the, that date? Of, the completion date in the con in the document itself. Uh, okay, so it's phase gonna, one gonna, will be awarded within thirty days after the maybe amended I'm looking for the so what did I have in my mem my email? Because I didn't print the email. As far as the missing. date that you reference, the date by which this work is to be completed. When you say work, the whole park done. Which no, no, no. No. This phase. The, the proposed. Oh, where phase, you had a January phase one. date. I don't see anything there. It just says I'll I'll read the paragraph. Attached is a draft of the RFP for the design work of Swift Park. It includes two phases. Phase one covers the design concept as outlined in this document and is expected to be begin by beginning of January upon ses successful award of the contract. Phase two, which includes the final design, the construction, and all bid documents they will, that will be awarded upon successful completion of phase one and appropriation of funds 
approval of CPA funding, in parentheses. The final draft of the RFP will include a copy of the town's standard designer contract, any miscellaneous compliance documents, the plans depicting the site, and I am thinking of a copy of Ed's great presentation. Yes. Okay, so I did, I found it. So um, the targeted completion date for phase one is April 30th. Okay. That so gives us time to update the CPA application in the warrant article. Okay, so we're gonna have like a placeholder. Yes, okay. yes, we'll have, I mean, it will be. But we got plenty of time. We do have time. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't say plenty of time. I wouldn't well, say plenty. I think we need to get right on this. And I went in and I actually tightened up the dates. So the November, let's see, so. What do we have? We're going to do the pre-proposal briefing on November 10th at 10 o'clock. At 559 Foundry Street. 559? Uh, 557 won't get them there? If they well, there, there is no 557 that I, I must... I think that's I what think the that's... assessor's map shows. It might not be on the GIS. I'll, I'll change it to 5... It's 559. No, I know it's... Is I, it 559? Okay. Yeah. Well, you live, next door is you live there, but I think 557 is the, the park itself. That could be true. That's the part, the mm. assessment. But we'll make it 559 no, no, no. because well, we, no, we want do people that. to get there. Yeah. We don't need to be right. We need them to get there. So no, It needs to be close. Yes. Yep. So um, I would say anyone who wants to be there, you can be there for the, um, the briefing on site. What's the date again? It is November 10th at 10 a.m. Okay. Understanding, of course, there's certainly no deliberation, um, but the whole purpose of this is just to convey information to the potential Where is that proposers. going to be? That's going to be at the park, at Swiss Park. So the idea is to get them out there so that they can see what And who will be in attendance? The, I will certainly be there, as and will any proposers. Hopefully proponents yes. will be there. Yes. Those who are interested in submitting work. Correct. Yeah. yeah. In submitting a proposal. Mm -hmm. So then we have um, November 30th by 10.30 a.m. for submittal of the proposals. Um, any questions? I think we should be there. That's important. For the opening? or for November the November 10th. Yes. Yeah, I think yeah. it's helpful. It's important. I mean, I don't know that everybody needs to be there, no. but certainly, um, and again, if, if they have questions to, that they're asking, then people can answer them. It seems to me the three of you would be the most logical way to be there to answer any questions and such. Um, yeah, I mean, at least one of us or both of us, yeah. but I think yeah, anybody you answer. all also, yeah. I mean, sure. this is your neighborhood also, so. Oh, yeah. um, in fact, you know, I, I'm looking at the goals. We didn't, I knew I was missing something and I meant to add it. We want this to be accessible. That needs to be included. Yes, it, it certainly does. And on the first page, was it designated a National Historic District? Yeah, it's a district. yeah that sorry. was my second question. Okay. I was corrected by Wayne on that one. Brennan's Village Historic District. Mm -hmm. It is a na National Register District. Um, the whole district, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was there, yeah. Took us, I mean, I took us 12 correct. years to do that. <laughs> yeah. I will make any correction. You, I do note that it was designated as a. There you go. Welcome. Hello. We're being taped. Okay. You've been what, what, what page is it? <laughs> yeah. uh, page one. Yeah. Historic is what's missing. Correct? Are you, are you still on the email? Or nope. On page oh, it's on one. the first page, the second Fr paragraph. I, am, I print, I print historic, everything. Furnace Village Historic District. What's wrong with that? The question was whether it says which was designated a National Register District, so that was my question. Is it should correct? be historic. Is it National Historic? It is historic. 
Yes, I is realize the that. National Register, does the National Res Register District include the word historic? Correct. That's my question. I don't think so. I don't think it does. That's why. That's why it's not there. Yeah. Fish. That's um, why it's not there. I, I, you, you're I, the I, one I, who wants it there. I'm, I, 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 I would like to have it there. I, I think you, you know, it was your question. Yes. And I think that's good. Okay. Um, well, if we're jumping over to page one, that. if you're jumping over to page one, two. <clears throat> well, two different things listed here. Yes. Yeah, it should so, be consistent. Yeah. Yes. With his so. The National Register District, and then down here you had the National Historic. Yes, you're right. National yes. Register Historic District. Or was I quoting? That was a direct quote from... This was a direct quote from the zoning. So the zoning may be wrong. Well, or that's... Well, or it could be right. Do you no, need to read some paper? Yeah. Do you, do you I don't think it's yeah. going to discourage I'll anybody from applying for the job. No. I mean, well, it well, it might be easy if you have an extra. Do you have an extra? Oh, yes, I yeah. do. Sorry. Sorry, Chris. That's okay. Don't, okay. don't look at me. I will, I, 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 don't, will, I don't think it matters except for the fact that it's not consistent. I will, we will make it consistent. Um, I thought this was done great. I can give them just some, some minor things. That's so, there was some work that was put into this, and mm -hmm. I think it looks great. Yes, I think um, so too. Am well, I a being, lot of people mm -hmm. contributed to this. Because yeah. um, I don't know if I'm being picky, but on that same paragraph, um, evidence indicates this town owned property. The first thing that comes to my mind, and I might be jumping the gun, but going into the survey um, and defining that, and I know Eileen can't make it tonight, but she showed gr great concern in regards to that. The, the green stuff where the park is gonna be is well established as town property. What Arlene is concerned about is the parking around the outside, that's gonna be determined by the survey. I talked with Greg Swan the other day. He said that survey plan, which I shared, that was recently done, um, is an accurate survey. And we don't need to go for a survey. Well, that's good news. That's, that's what he said. Can we get so a copy of that? Yeah. Yes, and I believe you, you, I believe I shared it. But From yes, the original I one? The, the, this, is not, this is not the, ori the original. It's uh, the recent one that was done as part of the, um, I think, the sewer district. So whether we have it or not, it would be nice to I have a copy. Yes. If yes. we don't have a copy, yes. the one person who really needs to see it is Arlene. So mm -hmm. maybe someone you could run it by her and see if that resolves any questions that she might have. Yeah. And, and, the, and tell me if I'm wrong here, the two other major abutters. Yes. Is it staked out? I don't think so. No, I don't think it's staked out at the present. There, I mean, we can have them stake it up. I would like to see that. Yeah. What, that one stake on the, I agree. On the Absolutely. Aquanic so side? So we'll, we need to include that in here. Include I, think, the, I think Greg said that at some yeah. point. Say that again, sorry. That there, there was at least one stake marker okay. on, on the Aquanic side, but, which doesn't really tell us very much. I guess the major section is really what we're worried about is m more towards where the, the car dealership is. Yeah, which that would give us additional space. If, right. If we, right. Yeah. That's right. a key piece. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I will, I will add that stake out limits of par. I have a question concerning the proposal for the price for that. What could you tell me what page you're on? And yeah, I am on page four. Yeah. And it's the proposal requirements. Yep. So one of the bulleted items provides the data to provide us with a proposed project approach. Um, are those who are providing us with proposals supposed to provide some sort of ideas of what they envision for the site, or is that premature? Oh, way premature. So it's just yeah. so you're I, not I would, I would, I would not expect them to. I mean, that's what you're contracting with them for, sure. and the first thing you want them to do is listen to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I agree. And right. and I think you know we have we have the goals set out, but I think having a discussion with everyone and um, yeah and yes. So, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. We want um, so we include in here that we want evidence. I'm pretty sure it's in here. Uh, relevant design projects undertaken and completed. So we want to make sure that they, um, if you want to refine, so the, on that same page, on page four, one, two, three, four, five, the fifth bullet down, um, I think this is important. So we have for all relevant design projects undertaken, you want the list and contact information um, and completed built within the last seven years include brief description of comparable projects, especially suburban parks and historic landscapes and the role of this RFP's primary consultant. So is there anything else there you want to add for particulars? Um, this is very similar language to what was used for garnering proposals for the uh, town hall project. And uh, I think it's specific enough uh, getting, getting the um, relevant design projects really was a major factor in making the decision. Right, so. right, yep. And, and it should be, I mean, that, that's, yep. and you want evidence of that, so. And did I have in here that we would be interviewing? There's an interview section, yes. Yep, okay, I just wanted to make sure. There's a post so in the interview these. presentation. Yep. And because of the type of work, I've already had, um, I already ran this by town council, got some minor comments back. Um, I already knew what he said, but this is design work, it, architects. This um, type of work is exempt from the um, procurement, the 30B procurement process. So we don't even have to go out with the full RFP, but I think it's helpful too because then you really get, hopefully you get a lot more responses and a wider selection to choose from. I was also at a conference last Thursday and Friday and there were several firms there that I know to do this type of work and that do it, so I pulled their cards so that we can mail directly to them as well. Okay. Can I ask another question? As far as the process is concerned, I see we have various evaluation criteria. Um, this isn't a situation which are required to take the low bidder, correct? So, correct. And how much flexibility is there with respect to the uh, evaluation of the criteria? In other words, are these basically guidelines for purposes of evaluating, or do you, are you required to apply these factors and then award it to the highest score after application of those criteria? That's a very good question, and I've seen it done both ways. I think doing a score is not the best way to go. I agree, I, I just sort of, so I, I'm hopeful that this puts forth a process by which there's some uh, flexibility so that these are really more guidelines. And is that is the intent? So if you look at the table of comparative evaluation criteria. Page um, number? This is, six. thank you, Ed, page six and page seven. Um, and, and this is, Ed and I participated in an RFP process a few years back, and I know Fred, uh, Ed does not like rubrics, but this is a Didn't generally like when I was a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> this is a generally accepted practice and, and kind of encouraged by the procurement law, mm -hmm. um, where you set up your table, you have your comparative evaluation criteria, and um, you evaluate based on this. And it's it's a little broad, but um, it's also applicable. Um, you look at whether their response is highly advantageous, advantageous, or not advantageous. So you're not giving them a score, like a number, but you are indicating, and it gives you, I think, what you might be looking for. Yeah, as long as you don't say, oh, there's three highly advantageous and only one, you know, of the other ones. Right, That's I see it more as a, um, as a guideline. guideline. Yes. Because if you, you lock something in, if you're waiting a certain way, you can have these artificial weights assigned to things and you end up with something that perhaps right. isn't the best selection at the end right. of the day. I, right. I find that in the long run, if you do these things, it's kind of obvious by the time you get done. Right. Yeah. 
I, I know we've used, you know, specific people that are used to this type of work in the past. What is the percentage or odds of using someone local first? Well, the first thing is for us to identify who the, that person is, so that we but can in the past, send though, them I mean, the RFP. As we haven't um, with an RFP. Uh, I haven't done a project quite like this. I haven't done a project like this to be able to to answer that. Um, so we did the Wheaton Farm parking lot where we went out, but that that's an invitation to bid for the construction of that, and we ended up with local people, uh, a local guy, yeah. doing that work. This won't preclude anybody local. Yeah. All they have to do is follow the procedure, yeah. and they can do it. The question is that I think it? Stephanie. Yes, we have many, many competent landscapers in town, but do we have? Um, you need a, you're going to need a GC landscaper. Yeah, yeah exactly. Well, a yeah, landscape absolutely. architect is what you're. Oh looking yeah, for, yeah, As yeah, opposed yeah. to a absolutely. landscaper who goes out and maybe you know does some some planting so, and some. So the good news I, is though, I, I, I've dealt with two people in the last week. I said I'm working on a project uh, on Olmsted, and they said, "Who's Olmsted?" <laughs> so <laughs> the townspeople don't really care. I think. I think my question is, if someone meets the criteria that's local and someone that is not local and meets the criteria, is there a preference by hiring someone that's local? Yeah, you can, you can do that. Okay. That, that I is, mean, if all things are I, equal. You know, I've heard uh, if many all discussions things are about equal this. And you want to um, go with the local person and they're qualified, yeah. Okay, that's all I need to know. I have another question. Are we asking them to provide separate proposals for phase one and phase two? Because we know that phase two is the conditioned price, on funding. Yes, yes. They, they need to provide. They have to and break the it price. out. Yes, because we, we need to be able to contract with them for phase mm -hmm. one. And until we actually get to town meeting and that vote is made, affirming the second half of the funding, um, we can't go into a contract with them. Have we clarified here that when they provide their proposal, they are to provide separate numbers for each? Yes. It is? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Anybody have anything else? I have a couple of others. Sure. Go ahead. Not specifically to this, but I brought this up before and I don't recall anybody remembering it, but um, nobody discussed a flagpole. That's true, we didn't include that. And we need to make sure that, that uh, in our design work that there's gonna be a flagpole, obviously. Okay, I mean, do we, do you want we don't to need add to. it here? I, um, I mean, I think that's... I, I don't know, if, I don't know. I, I guess if we start this, then we gonna... But... The thing with a flagpole, and believe me, I love the idea of a flagpole, um, you're going to have to have somebody that's responsible for lowering it when the governor calls for it to be, you know, lowered. Oh, on half staff, yeah. We can light it so that it doesn't have to be taken down daily, but if it's a half staff, somebody has to. Oh, yeah, the light's solar powered now. I think yeah. the flagpoles, that's such a standard thing, but it. it um, I, I, I mean, I'm a huge advocate of too. flags, specifically in this area, with um, this type of dedication. So it's a valid point, and we have to work on that, but. Um, I mean, especially it has if this to be is lowered to a very specific. Yep. Especially, you know, it is. It's like yeah. <laughs> the vision I think that everyone wants is like when we're coming down 106 from Mansfield, and it's like yeah, here's East and here's the, right. the first thing you're going to see and everything. And you know, it's tacky if we <laughs> you see it in town a lot. People haven't lowered the flag when the government's called for it and yeah, stuff like that. I so, agree with you, and I, I pick up on that too. It's disrespectful. I mean, and, and I totally agree with and, you. And so it's like if we're going to do the flagpole, which I fully endorse, it's just. Got to have somebody that can lower the thing. So it, it's just being know. told how to do it. We don't have See, someone. The, do we have someone? Have someone who lives nearby. Is? Twenty-one years of military service. All right. There you go. So you oh, know. Okay. Yeah. But with that said, do we have do we have a person that goes around into town areas that does this? No. The DPW does it at the town. Hall. Yeah, for town property. I know they. Frank Menino used to do it. He would call. Um, he would get the call actually from the town offices that it was okay to redo it. Okay, and the second thing, uh, and I had brought this up in the very early stages because I 
always like to talk about costs in doing it properly is um, maintaining this when it's all done. So there's two ways of doing this in my way, and we can all obviously chip in here. Uh, our views is for the town to completely take care of it, which I'm looking at it. This is just another Why wouldn't added that? burden. I'm sorry? Why wouldn't the town take care of it? Well, it, because it's, it's a another tax burden. It's, a, it's another burden. Well, let me, let, me, let me finish. It's another burden, another park to take care of. And you see all these things gradually coming up, and then we have to start adding more work to DPW and, and all concerns. So in my mind, I think of, again, the budget and the taxpayer. We might well, not have a choice. Not asking them to mow wheat and farm, though. It's it's it, it's a it's a ten minute job three times a year. Okay, so yeah. so let me let me finish. Okay, so then if everybody thinks it's it's fine, great. Second would be kind of like we did with the uh, Wall Memorial. That's gonna has been going to be repositioned at the intersection of Depot and Center, which I think is going to look great. Um, can we get a local landscaper that would have a sign and maintain it in return? Um, what is, and we, and it's one See, less thing I, the town has to do. I, I, I find that if, if I could no, 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 I, just I'm interrupt just for a second, up. you know, I always find that uh, free enterprise stuff tacky. Yeah, I'll mow your lawn, just have a giant sign there for me. Eh, I don't like I that. See, I much. see your point. The other problem I, is, think of the rockery. The, the rockery... I know, I, you know, yeah, I was going to just talk that's about a volu that. That was supposedly a volunteer organization. Now the only person, that, or only group that goes near it is, is the Lions Club once a year. It's true. And I guess whoever has whatever concession to mow the lawn up there uh, still mows the lawn. But... So maybe we reach out to the DPW and see if there's an issue with them taking care of it. Yeah, it's, it's, well, they're, we should they're also coming them. down doing trash removal over the whole pond. I think it's been there before. I mean, if there's a water just, feature, just that, that'll be need, need to be winterized. Yes. Um, so, so we want to include we can have them DPW. Do that. It's, just, it's, an important, it's a, an important piece that we really and have skipped over. And the other thing over. is, maybe what you want to consider and, and require as part of this is um, you know, low maintenance without could, sacrificing um, could you quality. put that in as one of the criteria yes yes so i can a DPW rep on this no we had so many already we just but <laughs> it's my job to um, interact with the dpw i can let you know though that they do come down the town does they send like three guys mowing it and doing all the weed whacking and all of that, and they go up and they do it by the pond, which is fine where it's the way it is, but it's gonna take more time and more thought once things get designed and they gotta start moving around things. Right, right, if you've got the- It's still gonna be a little bit more work when this yeah. is done, without a doubt. And the other thing is that if we make it a park where people stop, there's gonna be trash, that's another issue. Again, I bring it up because we haven't really discussed it, and those the two big things that I've been thinking about is the flagpole and and after maintenance when it's Seems all done. Seems to me the best resolution to talk to David Field, right? To just Correct. let him know and get some input from him and let us yeah. know if it's problematic. Well, well you know, well actually, it will involve Todd. Todd Texera, he's responsible for oh, okay. and, Yeah, and. Um, can we have an 85 foot flagpole like they had in Northeastern on top of the Rockery, which that was 110 feet tall? Can we get the uh, cell tower type thing yeah. in there? It costs yeah. us oh. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that should be part of it. So, I, I will ref refine the scope of work to include that they need um, to have conversations with DPW. Um, I think just say low maintenance. Oh yeah, or, uh, we'll we'll put that yeah, in. So but, we'll yeah. have. Shouldn't we have the conversation with the DPW? Sure. Yeah. So low maintenance will be a major piece of our design work. Yeah. Yeah, I just added. That. I got that in there. Okay. I just think back to when the 
students try to put in recycling at the high school and all the custodians said nope we're not going to do it but we have lots of areas in town that are all the town does not take care of as an example the front of town hall the entrance that's what do you mean it's done by the eastern garden club and oh okay changed. yeah 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 yes i thought you meant the whole lawn in front which is more right a scale no, but there are and, 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 and they definitely do take care of yeah that. they do yeah. Yeah, I also suspect that once the park's constructed, that that'll be a good attraction for yearly Eagle Scout people. Yeah, as far as maintaining, doing anything to that, that's I mean, a, it's, that's it's a, a really good one. I, they, yeah, I think that is a good idea. You know, almost marketable. It's, it's got to be something that that um, loss of a word, but dedicated to doing this. Reliable. Like, oh, I forgot to do no, it this month. No, it needs month. to be reliable. It, reliable is the word I'm looking for. Yeah. We could reach out to the Eastern Garden Club to see if they'd be interested in doing something similar, which is not the maintenance of it, but no. <laughs> okay. I think they got enough. Yeah, the Garden Club is shrinking, and okay. they're having trouble maintaining. I shouldn't say having trouble. They're stretched to do the stuff that they already do. Yeah, we heard that there was... That was a suggestion for some other project. Well, maybe it was for some of us local gardeners nearby, including those who live there, those who are around the corner. I mean, do we need another Friends of Swift Park? Is it going to be organic? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we used to have a Friends of uh, the Rockery. I don't know what happened with that, but... Well, the problem with uh, like the Friends of the Rockery is that you're depending upon the personalities, and remember... Which is uh, always a problem. Yeah, remember Karen? I mean, look, it up, look at the two of us. Yeah, we work so well together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, and that kind of, you know. Yeah. So. I guess I have a question. Yeah. Um, I'm new to all of this stuff, but the pre-proposal briefing is going to be November 10th, mm -hmm. but the bids have to be put in by the 30th. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering, is that... Is, is, Less than three weeks. That's actually no, actually three weeks or with Thanksgiving. I would in be there. a liar if I said you know I didn't go out and find some other already great RFPs that you know I modified to fit our need. Um, and and many of them great. Had it like two weeks before. So okay. three weeks I, I just it just yeah. Same kind of. Well, it's a good question. Yeah. Uh, yeah. in and the points that you make with Thanksgiving in there as well. Well, and that's my, so that was the reason I did the dates the way I did, taking into consideration that we had Thanksgiving, and so this is going out. If we, so I was hoping we could get all everybody's input. I'd make the modification, send it out. Everyone could say, "Yep, that that looks good," and then I can go out with it early next week. It would take it like today to have a vote to approve yeah. this with these requested modifications. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and then um, so then you have two weeks. I think it's two weeks in October, so they can start looking at it and think about what yeah. they want to look at when they're out out there at the briefing, and also, um, you know, I bumped up like some people had the questions. And I've seen this before in other RFPs where they have the questions maybe a week before the due date, which seems kind of silly to me, because if you get questions, yeah. you as the, um, the the requester for proposals, if you get questions, you have to share those with anybody who has expressed an interest huh. or asked for the RFP. And if you're deadline is a week before it's like well how can people incorporate mm -hmm. the answer yeah. into their proposal and you want to give people enough time to do that and, as and, well. and how do you pick people to send this to or do you just post it somewhere in you, all those the general things. area then? all those things so I mean I just from the nature of the work I do I know um, of firms that do this type of work as I mentioned when I was at the conference last week I um, took advantage of that to pull cards from um, some of the, the vendors or exhibitors. Um, we will post it on the town's website, so that's another way that hopefully we will get the attention of locals. I'll post it as a news item on the front page of the website. We'll also, I'll ask that it be sent out in the town crier and the um, 
Tom Carr, I think, would be Facebook. good. I mean, I don't know. I get this thing in my head about people surfing the town website. I, I don't. I don't see where we no, that, with so that. So the front page is that that's where those news items are, and people will see that if they've gone. To, so this is my thinking, and it will direct them to the where the RFP is and for more information. Um, you're right. People aren't just going out looking for consulting work by going to a web page. Um, we share it frequently with, I have, there's a listserv I subscribe to of planners. Um, and a lot of those planners are consultant planners and they work for firms. So whether they do that type of work themselves, the firms do. So that is another way of getting the word out. We post, post it on the central register with the state. That's another place. Um, uh, some of these mid to larger size firms have a marketing department, so they're always out there looking at the central register. And then any other ideas, and you are free to share this with anyone. Once it goes yeah. public, that it's it's a public document. Did you mention on the town's Facebook page as well? I did, yeah. 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 I think that's the way that you guarantee look. I mean, if you think there's a uh, a person in town that's capable of doing this, just ask them to put in. I don't. I just, you know, the type I'm of a proponent of supporting that, the, the type of firms local. that are going to bid on a project like this typically have people that look for marketing yep. for, for mm -hmm. things like that. Yep. Um, th this may be a stupid question, and I apologize if I missed it um, in last month's meeting that I wasn't able to attend. Do we have a set budget? Yes. So, for, we have submitted an application to the CPC for $60,000 in total funding for the, and, and for the first two phases. And the first two phases are the design concept that then will evolve into the design specifications, construction documents, and bid documents. So right now we're looking um, at a 60,000, but that's dependent on uh, approval at town meeting. Mm -hmm. So to kickstart this project, Ed and um, Ed and I, because yeah. um, John recused himself, so he could vote. So he could vote on it. So you could vote on it. So, <laughs> so, vote like so you could vote on it. Oh. Um, we asked CPA for twenty five thousand dollars in administrative funds so that we could get a, a jump start on this. And I have ten thousand dollars in my department budget for consulting. Um, and I talked with Connor, and I said I'd like to use this for this project. So we have twenty-five uh, thirty-five thousand dollars for the first phase. If you're then we'll need to seek additional funding, and there's talk, you know been a lot of talk about fundraising for the actual construction. Sure. So so when we're getting the proposals back, I'm just trying to word this right. Being a contractor, it's it stinks when you lose a job because the homeowner is not comparing apples to apples. And with this, like a, not the most set budget and we're looking for people's ideas to come back with the proposals. It's just difficult for this committee to compare apples to apples. Like, Well, when you say ideas, the, the idea will come once we, the, the design concepts mm -hmm. or ideas yeah. are what we're contracting sure. for. Right. So, um, my my experience, and it's not vast with landscape architects, is that's that's what they do. Oh, yeah. They know, they know how, oh, yeah. To, how to do it, so they know how to bid. And I think we've been clear. This, this is pretty standard language mm -hmm. as to the information that we want to see in the RFP, um, the evidence of experience and type of work that we're looking for. And by using the... Chris, were you here when we talked about the, um, the this kind of rubric or matrix, mm -hmm. um, the evaluation? Yeah, I've seen that. Helps, yeah, um, helps make do an apples to apples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you really, when you're writing it, so if you if you see that you think there's some kind of um, either discrepancy or inconsistency, or it could be a little clearer. Let me know because we'll 
I mean, that's, again, the, the, you try to write, write the RFP so everyone understands sure. what you're looking for and what they're bidding on. And I was very, I'm sorry, John, no, 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 I was sorry. very specific, too, that it's being done in this portion of the design and then the construction documents is being done in two phases. We have funding for the first phase. Um, we anticipate funding for the second phase and that they propose each separately. So they pro provide a proposal, um, the, the work proposal mm -hmm. and the price proposal separately. I wasn't sure if part of your question was, are you thinking of the scope of the whole project? Or yes and no. I, it just... Because I'm as curious as you. <laughs> it's just and like we can you get these. It, it's just it, it's a tough one, and I'm sure you have much more experience in this. You, you get these landscape architect proposals back, and this one could have like, it's just difficult. Um, my brain goes towards let's say like you know you're getting three prices on a roof, and it's very easy to compare apples to apples because it's a roof. There's only you know what I mean, as opposed to this right. could go in a million different directions. And I guess that's what we're here for. Yeah, is but I don't, I, it, it can't. I mean, the work that need, we've been very specific. This is what we're expecting. The product coming from phase one is a design concept. This is kind of the master plan for mm -hmm. the park that incorporates the ideas that have been set forth by the committee. Almost a year. Yep. Then in the second phase, it's to take that design, create the design specifications, the design plans, the construction documents and the bid documents so we can go out to bid. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, to me, the request seems somewhat generic, you know, the request for proposal in the sense that it's not dependent on a specific design proposal, where it's the process. Right. So therefore, it seems like it's going to be more likely that it will be an apples-to-apples -apples comparison where the folks who are proposing, that they know what the process will be, the general parameters. Oh, yeah. No. Their pricing is, isn't going to be dependent on a particular design that they're proposing because that's something that's going to be addressed. But I thought people might, they might. Work. I would just think with landscape architects, I've dealt with them a little bit. Different guys have different visions. So, it, and well, yes, that's, that's if, what we're buying. Yeah. That, yeah. Diff and, and, different and, trees cost different well, amount. They could come up with exactly the same proposal and you could have a rare $500 tree, or you could have a... And I apologize if my brain is very... Oh, no, 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 no. Maybe I can clarify this. We, we, yeah, are, I, we already know pretty much what this park's going to look like. Yeah, okay. We need to get it down on paper, right. and then... And, and maybe a refine... Minor I mean, fine-tune. Minor fine-tune. We spent a year and a half with these ideas, so I think... Tell me if I'm wrong... We just need someone to put this down on paper and say, you know what? This is eh, going to work. It's not going to work. If this, this isn't going to work. You're trying to do too and much. That's why we need a professional. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. So I don't think it's going to be as difficult as it the might The proposal, if, if they come in the proposal and tell us what the design looks like, they're not... That's, we don't want that. We because, don't, exactly. Okay. Because what you gotcha. want is someone that goes, okay, we've got an idea of what you're talking about. Cool. And yeah. you want a master plan for this. But I need, I need to hear from you. Um, let's have some conversation and more. And then we'll float some ideas around on what this might look like. Okay. I, that's, that's, I'm, I'm ready to change the subject. Um, I'm not. I, I have. You've got to get along here, you know. <laughs> and I go way back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, two things. Number one, there's nothing in here that precludes somebody brand new from. That's experience is not a criteria. The quality of the program is a criteria. Yeah. Do we Good. want? No, I don't want to exclude Maya Lynn just in case somebody like that's available. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, the second question or the second comment is the two biggest landscape projects that have taken place under town government are, are associated with town government is the landscaping company that did the Beacon Project. So could we make oh, sure yeah. that they're aware? And then okay, the other yeah. one who they're made... They're probably way out of our price league, but yes. Yeah, yeah. but yes. you know, that's... Yes, we, well, we yeah, have an intern did. here, and oh they could, God, you know... they were so good. And but, so and, thoughtful. And they, yeah, yeah, they were, and they were easy to work with. Um, 
The other group, and I'm not sure they're still around, but the people who did the landscaping on the Rockery. Uh, in <sighs> that took so That was like East and Stonehenge. Well, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> they were just rocks there for. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's I because that's because that. I was in charge of the project and it yeah. just went for us. I'm with him. Yeah. I'm sorry. I know. I it just blew up. There aren't too many people. I, I can't say it. Yeah, not I, I said it Go up there and find a rock career. now. It's all covered with the landscape. Yeah. <laughs> but they, uh, the reason I mentioned them is they did have you know engineers and a landscape expert. You know, somebody who knew the plants. Um, when was this? The recent, like the renovate? It's going to be 10 years ago. Oh, longer than that. I think. How it's long is it? Almost 15. Yeah. 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 Yeah. You think that long ago? I think so. I just read about that. Yeah, yeah, I can get it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's a sundial. Maybe it's the age. Yeah. I have a soft spot for the rock right now. I love it. Hey, Olmstead didn't like it either. So here we Are we ready to move? Yes. vote on this? I have to leave to go to Alliance the board meeting shortly. Yeah, it's like you're the only person that has to do this. <laughs> this was good work. <laughs> I'm actually not obligated for the smaller issues being addressed a little this way. Enough. Um, but I, I don't want to cut off anybody, but are we ready to yeah. have a formal motion? So I, I would move that we accept the Swift Park design concept request for proposal that Stephanie has presented with the modifications discussed at this meeting and authorize Stephanie to issue this next week upon the completion of those modifications. I second that. Aye. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? See, I know how to make these motions now. I haven't watched so many of your planning and zoning meetings, Stephanie. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, not, not him you again. Oh my God, Dale, yeah. you'd be surprised how many boards. It is so difficult for them to make a good a motion. motion. Was, yeah. uh, the planning board is, is good. I I'm, was the chair of the Conservation Commission in Boston for many, 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 many years. And the first thing they said when I said I'm stepping down is, oh, who's going to make the motions? Make the motions. That's right. <laughs> that's a Boy, right health, we just zoom it right along. It's great. Yeah. 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 yeah that's yeah. Boom. Boom. Well, um, the process has been good. I mean, we've yeah. No, you're doing good. Everybody's had a chance yeah. to air. We're not. We're not over killing it. We've, we've yeah. taken it. Uh, I did have a, a, a quick question. We had brought this up before. Maybe once we get the survey official. Um, and without stepping on anybody's toes, because I believe Wayne Southworth might have had more knowledge of that with the drainage. I keep thinking we're at Swift Park. Um, is that something we need to address in the near future? Are you talking about the easement? Correct. I, I need to check back with um, town council because I did send him stuff. So I, um, I mean, that's really important. Um, so about the easements, but yeah, maybe that, it, it's Wayne's that, a good it's that to strip check in if we can get yeah. that additional land. Those easements run in favor of the adjoining property owners. Is that what they are? Do we know? That, the the yeah, drainage yeah. easements are for the benefit um, of of yeah the abutters the abutters yes. properties. Yes. Correct. Okay. I just so, had these visions, and I've seen these projects in the past where you get to certain points, and then this. A major catastrophe. I can give Wayne a call. Yeah, it won't happen. Right, no, that, that makes sense to tee that up sooner rather than later. Um, should we address the, uh, the, I guess, the second item that was addressed on the agenda, the public outreach, marketing and fundraising? Is that, is that I, we had a conversation, and I, I, I told everyone before you arrived, Dale, I did have minutes from the last meeting and mm -hmm. uh, forgot to bring them. Um, I. I kind of put that on there just to have another item in case we need something I, I, more to talk about. But I'd like to just say something. Just something. We we've all come up with some some ideas from laying down bricks to who knows what. Um, I think we can raise some money with that. But I I uh, if anybody knows me, uh, we have two members of CPC here. Um, I like skin in the game, and this shouldn't be any different because members of the CPC are sitting here. Um, so are you volunteering to pay for some of this? No, I'm not, yeah. no, no, not at all, Mr. Hans. But um, we do need to think about it. And are we thinking, uh, I, I, without getting into a whole conversation, um, so we can keep this meeting 
you know, on a schedule um, for the next meeting, do we want to do something uh, on a grander scale plus some type of solicitation to um, members of the community? So this is for the fundraising for phase three, the actual the cost Correct. of construction and implementation, Correct. right? Which scares me. <laughs> so. Because we're looking at phase one and phase two as being... Right, and so we got a little ways to go. Right. Um, one, one thing you need to know that I presume that the Board of Selectmen appointed a tricentennial commission on, well, that was my on next Monday question. night. They're going to be asking for money too, I'm sure. And that's... What three years away? Correct. Yeah, it's the same same That's thing. That's the target. This is, um, so the target's going to be there. So that can work in two directions. Number one. Who from this committee is on that committee? I am. I am. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you are. So you both on. Okay. Yeah, so that's on. good. Yeah. The Swiss Park re. Development is supposed to be part of that. Yeah, that was kind of the intent. That was a good tie it into the. So they can help us with funding. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And if we can do that, so that would be the major part. Maybe we can work on a, 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 I don't want to call it a lower level, but... We can table it and come up with ideas for next month's meeting. For that next yeah. level, and br Bricks was a biggie, depending on the yeah, design. Let's, let's, bricks are nice because it's in perpetuity. I've already talked to, to um, Bricks, uh, to a couple of Brick companies. Yeah. Um, it's, they're, they're also affordable to people who want correct. to contribute. Families, too. Don't have and, a big, and correct. It, they're not likely to get you a substantial portion of... Well, that was my concern. And if you really push it, it's right. tons. Can, um, we, can we discuss for a moment, because even before getting to that point, um, and I, I would think we should put that on the agenda for a future meeting. I, I absolutely that, agree. Because that's really for phase three, time. right? The right. All but we need to think about role. this stuff. Yeah. But for public outreach, when I'm thinking along the lines oh, of yeah, what yeah. Ed had done for the those folks who showed up for the Furnace Village Neighborhood Collaborative Group about getting word out to people that this is underway and making mm -hmm. them aware. So you did a really nice... PowerPoint presentation for folks that gave an idea, but talking about historic perspective, the purpose. And by the way, I thought that the the introduction section in particular was really good, just in terms of an overview and everything. Um, so it would seem to me that that would be something we would want to get started sooner rather than later. So making other folks aware of the existence of this committee, what we're considering, the going through the design thing, opportunity because people will feel more invested in it if they feel as if they've been involved from the, the you know the, the get-go of making of a hot dog, in my view. I, I agree. Uh, that that meeting was filmed, right? It was not. Oh, then we need to do something to get it on ECAT. ECAT. So we could do is you know what we could do is do a similar presentation for something like the Lions Club, film it, and then make it available. I did a really nice PowerPoint presentation. The Lions Club would be a great way to publish. Yeah, and we, right. So we are. I was already thinking about having Ed do that, and then take the PowerPoint presentation, and with, with Ed's approval in the committee, distribute it to like the Furniture Neighborhood Collaborative Group, because it's the folks, 170 members. Uh, you know, the South Street Group. We have 45 members. Facebook. You know, other ways of getting that out there, letting folks know, and those folks who are interested in being part of the process, getting some input, will raise their hands. I would suspect. Yeah. And if um, so, I've been thinking about this. We can. Create a, create a project web page. Oh. Um, that has I'm sorry. All that a, a project a pro web page and has all of that. And if, you, and can, if we get a video, we can link to it. Yeah, no, that, that would too. be great. Um, yeah. Talking about it. And then, you know, we can do little updates. And, and, and we, here's something that's extremely controversial. And I, I have a love hate relationship with it. But if you have large donors, usually. There has to be some type of reciprocation. Yeah. We have to think about that. If just say, somebody says, hey, I got $50,000. I'd like to donate to this park. Um, what are we doing in return? By way of example, we've already had some discussions. There is a um, Lions Bequest Committee. There were certain funds that were requested that for the Lions to distribute. There's a committee of which I'm a member, you know, who and we've already, I've already raised the idea about the Swift Park as one of those things. We sort of set it aside for a little while, but those are the kinds of things that we should start teeing up sooner or rather later so that those folks who are considering making it correct feel like they've got a seat at the table for yeah, that. Right. And they have to do it within a certain time period tax-wise. 
Right, they have desired, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I think maybe we should give some more thought to that. And um, is that something we should take up in more detail also at the next meeting? Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah. yes. 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 absolutely. And, 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 okay. Chris had a good idea as well uh, it, it, as part of that discussion. Everybody come up with some fundraising ideas. Yeah. So, so at the next meeting, public outreach and then marketing and, and fundraising will be the primary discussion, and I'll, we'll be, I'll be giving an update on the RFP process. And what in relation to the, the RFP process are we considering having our next meeting? Did we talk about that? No, we haven't. We okay. want to do it again next month, like we've been doing, or? Does that work with your schedule, or do you, would you rather um, meet later in the month? Later in the month is, is the holiday. Yeah. Right, 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 because November's it's already November. Month to do anything. Right <laughs> it just I, is. Does it make sense to December's do it? December's end not any better. Yeah, well, no. this, right, so... I think we should get one more meeting. Right after the November 30th deadline for folks to submit. You know, is there a reason for us to meet? Before, is there has, there's a committee, right? This reference so, is some well, sort one of, of the committee things evaluate. that the committee's talked about is that they feel the fundraising will be easier when you have a design in hand. So it may make sense. Yeah, because, because you have to be able to show people this is what right. we're trying or, to do. Or even that's talk about it and say, we're, we're going to be being say, hey, we're have a park. with a designer. And, and but here's a park, this is what we're doing. Wow. Yeah. All right, and, but my, my inquiry is yeah. more limited, just simply for the purposes of what we're going to be addressing in our next meeting. Should we be doing that before yeah. or after that? One of the 30th? things that has happened in the past with putting things out to bid is people take our wonderful idea and say, hell with this, I'm not going to submit. So it might actually be wiser for us to meet the first week in December after the deadline, then we'd know how many proposals we had. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. okay. I agree with that. So yes. the first week in December. Yes. Okay. So the first Wednesday. I don't think that's. Ed, can you send that um, presentation to me? I yeah, you, you've, you've seen versions of it, but I'd be happy to do that. I'll write it right down and as soon as the Lions meeting so is over. first we'll week in and it truly really shines with the benefit of Ed's narrative to it. Yeah, yeah. Of course, was direct, I wasn't advanced. I was advancing the slide too quickly and I was quickly admonished. Oh, I'm going to go back to that one. So that will be December 7th. Not done yet. <laughs> 7th? Yeah. I won't be here, but Ed will be here. And John, what's John, your availability then the first week? Um, I'm going to be away December 2nd for eight days. Oh. That's okay. Do we're we not going to, I mean, we're going to discuss. And the second virtual well, in. So well, what about the first? Could I virtual in? So the deadline is the 30th. What about yeah. December 1st? It's a Thursday. December 1st? Right, if we try to do it like after could, November 30th, but while John is still yeah, here. Yeah, okay. I mean, I don't want you to work around me, but I could do No, that, that's only fair. Um, so does that work for everybody? Does sure. First? Work? Oh, that's hold great. on. It doesn't work for everybody. I don't know. I don't know. And we stick in with 5 o'clock? 5, yeah. Does it have to be 5 o'clock? What's, what's your problem with 5? Too early, too late? It's like right smack dab in the middle of any... That's why Meredith's not here. Not like If you have kids, this is... 5 to 7 is awful. <laughs> See, it works for all the. All yeah, the I'm sorry. I don't mean to. <laughs> and I'm not saying everyone's old. I can see that. You know what Chris Bill well, said? Well, you know what? The reason, the reason, one of the reasons why, and I see your point, was there were a lot of people have too. multiple meetings. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, um, yeah. And that was the issue. We're fitting in we're another meeting. We're trying to keep it to an hour. It's like, what time is it? Yeah, we're trying to keep it an hour. That's five. why, as I said, okay. so I need to scoot. We're, we're, yeah, we're, like, we're, if we pushed it up to four, yeah. I would be even easier. You know that the. Uh, easier. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, YMCA I, sign I'm retired, so of understanding I can do four. I do. And it relates to it, your it, particular project? Yeah, I've actually got a meeting November 9th with the town to go over the rink issues and so forth. So, yes. Um, and by the way, Stephanie, this is not uh, off point, but. I'm doing some additional communications with a lot of the folks who were participating in last night's yes, meeting. Yes, yes. Um, about that, so that they were kind of caught by surprise on it. I, I put out a notice about the planning zoning agenda, and then oh, is that how it came up? Because we, I was really surprised because usually we would get some calls and get some heads up and. 
I, I put it out to our I, yeah. every planning and zoning meeting. I put out the yeah. agenda to the two separate groups that we have. Okay, well that's good and then to somebody know. posted What's it on really Facebook. What's really good to know too is if you think something's going to just let us know so that we're. Yeah, I, I wasn't aware of it until I saw prepared. some chatter like at six fifteen. Yeah, um, yeah. On it and. Uh, I was not aware of it, some, but somebody had put it out on Facebook, which is why. And then the rink folks, a lot of those folks who spoke yesterday. Right, and that's why, if you the saw the select boards, um, the, if you see the motion for the disposal of the properties, they it, it does reference the rink and says any, really, any, any. Um, yeah, I was trying to reassure them while the meeting was yeah. going on. I was sending some text you did, you did to some you did fine. to let yeah. them know that we're already on top yeah. of this, you know, and, yeah. and the town's already on board, you know, which I yeah. you know, can't guarantee anything, but the idea, the desirability right. of... Right, that, that, it, yeah, yeah, people are very sensitive to the... Yeah, to the okay. I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. Second. So do we decide on December 1st? December 1st. Okay, thank okay. Thank uh, okay, so December 1st. That's the time work. Time work for five o'clock. Do we want to do five? Chris was saying five o'clock is very hard for him. He could do four, which is normally not a good time for a bunch of people. Yeah, oh, don't worry work. about No, me. no, no, but I mean, is this... I don't work on yeah, yeah, that's I, my I, question. I'm good for you. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be like, like you are. Okay, so... Five, four, Keep, whatever. It doesn't, doesn't matter to me. What? Location here? Yeah. Does it meet? Does it? Yeah. yeah. No, this is fine. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm yeah, just I'm asking. Yeah. 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 Okay. Fine. So. You'll make the arrangements? I'll make the arrangements. Okay. Five o'clock. So it'll still be here. Check. Back, let me call. And yeah, that sure. will be 12, 1 at 5 o'clock. Not the open Thursday nights? It'll be another. You, you, know, you can bring it up at the next meeting. Oh, yeah. But that may be hey, what was my phone for the whatever reason? Open on Thursday. I, I just see your email and just put it into my phone. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Is he yeah. yeah. at the late yeah. night? Yeah. 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 Is it at the late night? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. 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 All right, thanks a lot. But I've been having Oh, okay. Sounds good. Thanks again.